Hello and welcome to another video. In this one we're going to be talking about a git command uh, that I use you know, every once in a while but not super often. Uh, but someone in my chat wanted me to talk about it a little bit more on a video so that's why we're here. Uh, so let's jump into this. Uh, we're going to be talking about git cherry pick today. Now the point of cherry pick, uh, or at least the way that I think about it in my head, is you take a commit or a set of commits and you replay them in a different place. Um, so for today, we're going to be working with PyTest, just kind of demo this. Uh, I'm not going to be doing, I'm not going to be actually committing this to other branches, but I'm just going to show you how uh, cherry pick would work. So first let's look at the log and we're going to pick some candidate commit that we're going to cherry pick to a different branch. Uh, we're particularly looking at the master branch right now. PyTest has a particular workflow where we maintain other bug fix branches. So like, you know, 5.4.x or 5.3.x where we backport changes using cherry pick. Um, in this case, let's look at, I don't know, this commit here. What, is, what does this commit look like? Git show this one. Okay, this will probably be pretty easily cherry pickable. Um, now in this case, there's actually two choices of commits to cherry pick this. One is the actual commit where this happened, and the other is the merge into the mainline branch. Uh, the way we do it in PyTest is we cherry pick the merge. That way, um, you know, it better reflects the original history that happened here. And so like it'll mention the original issue that got merged as well as the person's branch and other information there. Uh, but I'm going to start by showing you just cherry picking a normal commit first, and then I'll show you how we would cherry pick the merge instead. So in order to cherry pick, you need to be on a different branch because uh, kind of the point is to copy a commit to another branch. And so let's check out, I don't know, the 5.4.x branch. Um, so this branch is different than the master branch. It doesn't include this change at all. Um, but we can include this change by cherry picking. So what we're going to do is we're going to replay this commit, um, but in a, you know, in a new form on a new branch. And we'll do that by running git cherry pick and then pasting that revision. And you'll see uh, it did some auto merging, probably because that particular file had changed slightly on the master branch versus the 5.4.x branch. Uh, but if everything applies cleanly, it will create a commit there. And you know, if we do git show, we now have a different commit. So see how this has a different commit ID than the one over here. And that's because we have you know, created, it, it had a different parent, but we may have applied the same patch, uh, but it'll get a different commit ID and it contains essentially the, the same patch that we saw over there. So the same modification of the authors as well as you know, changing stuff in uh, this changelog file and actually modifying this documentation here. So that's kind of the most basic form of get cherry pick. Now, sometimes you will encounter a conflict in get cherry pick. Let's see if we can get one that will conflict. Um, probably just pick something that modifies something that's not documentation. Uh, these are all documentation. Um, let's try this one. Let's see what this one looks like. It show this. Okay, this might conflict. Let's try it. <laughs> Get cherry pick this. Nope, that one applies cleanly as well. Let's try it on an older branch. Like 4.6.x. That's a real old branch uh, that surely will conflict. Okay, cool. So when you get a conflict here, uh, you'll have, you know, it'll tell you that there is a conflict in particular files. If you run git status, you can see the conflicting files. So let's see, let's see if this is something that we could actually resolve cleanly. Um, you'll see if we get to the conflict markers. Um, oh, cool. So it's really just conflicting about type annotations here. So we can actually, you know, take the doc string change that we got from the right hand side and uh, keep the, the left-hand side, which is the original branch. So we can resolve that conflict. And I'm hoping the other conflict is just a similar case, although it's in a test, so probably not. Um... Oh, okay, so it looks like some tests got added upstream that were unrelated. So we can actually just uh, delete this block, probably. I don't know if this is the proper resolution, but it is some resolution. And then we can get add that. And if we look at get status, we're now kind of partially through this cherry pick. And you can do git cherry pick dash dash continue. And that will uh, run the commit and, you know, finish the cherry pick. So this is what you would do in a conflict case. Uh, it, it, it also runs the git hooks here, which, um, yeah, we'll, we'll let those finish. And uh, the, oh, 
Um, well, we'll we'll actually skip the check the uh, RST hook because you know back back uh, back in the 4.6x era we didn't have proper validation for RST. So I'm just gonna skip that hook. Whatever, it's it's good enough. Um, but that's how you would complete a merge conflict in a cherry pick. Let's go back to the 5.4.x branch, and I'm actually going to reset it back where it doesn't have these cherry picked commits on it so that we can do the same workflow that PyTest would do. Git reset dash dash hard origin 5.4.x. Uh, so let's take that same documentation. Uh, oops, we want to get log master. So we're going to cherry pick the same documentation update here, but we're going to actually cherry pick the merge commit this time. This way we get all of this information here. And the way you do that is get cherry pick the same as before, uh, but we're going to pass dash M1. And this says um, something about picking the, the first parent of the merge commit. Um, and that's how you, this, this is how you cherry pick a merge commit. Uh, and you'll see here that we still, you know, cleanly applied this, but when we get show here, uh, we actually see that we cherry picked the merge instead of the, um, instead of the actual commit there. Anyway, hopefully that's some useful information about Cherry Pick. Uh, if you guys want me to explain some other stuff, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.